Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. This one's gonna be on the emulator called Wada Ru. It's uh, an emulator for the system that came out in 1992. This uh, handheld system was actually made to compete with the Game Boy. Uh, it actually failed miserably. There are, however, a couple of decent uh, games on there that you can enjoy. Uh, if you guys are interested in giving this a look, go ahead and follow the link that I put on the page. Uh, description section for you is going to take you to this website right here so we're simply going to go down here and download that just go ahead and extract that to a folder of your choice now you have to either have roms uh you know backed up from your games already or have the roms from somewhere on the internet in order for this to work uh, so if you're interested once again go ahead and get that into the folder and obviously you'd have to find your own roms or you know make your own uh, so here we go let's go ahead and get this started so just jump into the folder that has the emulator extracted to it we're going to go ahead and launch that this one is super easy to set up once you have your uh, roms just go ahead and put them in a separate folder inside the uh, main directory where the emulator is at as you can see i have a few here and let's go ahead and launch it so we're going to launch this uh application file right here and then i'm going to show you kind of how to play around with the, the settings to get it to look the best on your system this is able to run with the uh, reshade program so if you want to use reshade and make it look a lot smoother with the scan lines you can go ahead and do that just go ahead and look at the video i've done before on how to set up the reshade so once you launch it you're going to get this small window here I'm going to show you the quick options here that you can go ahead and do. Obviously, to load the game, you're going to go ahead and click on open. And, you know, just load any of the games. A uh, Galaxy Fighter is a pretty, you know, decent one. So let's go ahead and launch that one. And as you can see, it's going to launch it in a small window because I have the window size set to default right here. You can change the sizes by clicking on here and so forth that you can have the large so what i'm going to do for the most part is leave it in this sized window i'm going to show you how to make it full screen in a second uh, once you have that uh, you can go ahead and uh, set up your joystick so you're going to go to input or just click on the f2 key it's going to take you here if your joystick is compatible it will automatically set up the joystick for you so if you see settings like this on there it is more than likely already set up for you if it is not you can go ahead and click rescan or just go ahead and, uh, you know, you can click redefine to remap the buttons. All right, so we can go ahead and close that. And then we have uh, filters here, aspect ratio. If you pick square pixels, it will look like it is now. You can also hit uh, stretch to fit. If you maximize by hitting uh, alt and control, you will see the window pop up like this. Now, for me, the best way to get it to, you know, looking really nice would be to go in here to your options. You're going to go aspect ratio. Once again, set that to stretch to fit. You can also leave it on square pixels and hit control enter and you're going to get the window kind of like this. For some reason, the borders are yellow, which are horrible, but uh, that's how it's going to come out for you. If you want to make it even smoother than that, you can go ahead and click on filter. Click uh, by your right there and you'll go ahead and kind of blur it up a little bit looks make it look smoother and then the console we're going to go here it's going to by default go on here so that'll get it working for you filters like i said you can kick it on here and then the aspect uh, ratio you can change on here now like i said this is compatible with the uh, reshade so i'm going to go ahead and show you how that looks if you have reshade uh, and you you know want to get it to run with this just go ahead and uh, these are usually the two that I use like I said you can look at the video that I posted in the past and uh, get it to work this way if you want so we'll go ahead and escape out of there and I will go ahead and launch the emulator for you full screen so that will look like full screen with the uh, square pixel option here or you can go ahead and hit aspect ratio and go ahead and stretch to fit and it will look like this now just go ahead and run it here really quick. So you can see that runs fine. Like I said, there are a couple of games on here that are, you know, worth playing. So if you can go ahead and find them. So this is uh, one of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you a trick on here. If you're running games, or not a trick, it's just a setting on here. So if you're getting games to run and they seem to be running slow, and I'm going to show you an example here. There's one that runs uh, pretty bad on here. 
So let me go ahead and open it here, and I'm going to show you how you can make the games run a little bit smoother. So that would be Delta Hero. So we're going to go ahead and open that. Now, the way the emulator is set up to run it first is basically emulating the system the way it ran. So I'm going to go ahead and run this here real quick, and you can see how... Or actually, I already have it fixed, so it is running smoother. So in order for you to get the game to run like this, if they do run slow for you, what you're going to do is go here, here to the options. You want to make sure that for display, instant scan is on. And then for your console, got to find the other settings. So you want to make sure this is at 8. Now, you can actually switch this on the fly as you're playing. You can hit F5, F6, F7, F8. And then you want to make sure the stall cycles are also on. And you can disable it by hitting F10. So I'll go ahead and show you what it would run like on the original hardware. So this is how it's going to run off the bat. And as you can see, it runs pretty slow. So what you can do is just go ahead and hit the F6 while you're playing. And you can speed it up right there. And except, you know, it'll sync in with the sound, so it looks pretty good. It sounds decent. So a lot of the games that were on here, like I said, this was meant to uh, compete with the Game Boy. So a lot of the games, if you find them, they're basically going to be kind of clones of the, uh, you know, the original uh, Game Boy. All right, before I go ahead and end the video, I did notice that the uh, cursor uh, setting was off in uh, OBS. Uh, so I just go ahead and reactivated that. I did look at the video, so, I, you know, if you follow along with the video, you don't really need to see the mouse. Uh, but I did activate it uh, once again. So I'm going to show you one more neat feature with this one for the emulator. So let's go ahead and launch that emulator again. And I'm going to launch uh, one of the games I just had up open earlier. So let's go ahead and launch Delta Hero. And now if you go in here, this does have different color palettes that you can switch it to. So if you're used to the Game Boy, you can kind of mimic that color by going into the filter. Or I'm sorry, display palette. And these are the, uh, you know, presets for the, uh, the color scheme. So you can go ahead and, you know, choose between them. That's the uh, golden rod one. I'm going to go through all of them here. Maroon Misery. Chroma Contrast. That doesn't look too bad. Now, the very last one is the one that mimics the Game Boy. I'm going to show you that one here. So this one's kind of horrible. <laughs> and then the very last one, this one here will kind of mimic, like I said, the Game Boy. So we'll go on there and we'll launch it. And you can take a quick look here at how that will look like. So as you can see, you know, that, that grayscale, almost just like the Game Boy. So that's another, you know, other features that you can go ahead and, and switch on there to make it more, uh, you know, compatible to what you want it to look like. And with that said, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed, please do so. And uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.